the Euro Grant and the festival. We got this Euro Grant, which is a European Union grant from via the Europa Creative Program to uh, promote European values. Dan, what do you think are European values that you would like to actually reinforce? Okay, this this EU initiative is about theatre. It's about giving emerging artists the chance to tell stories that move, that allow them to express themselves, but they're also obviously stories that are connected to values. And at this particular time, when Europe is being attacked on its eastern flank, um, I think it's a particularly uh, interesting and dramatic time to be involved in a festival and I think that the festival should reflect that if you like that geopolitical geopolitical situation as well as being about theatre and as well as being an opportunity for younger artists to emerge and you know strut their wares on the boards you know and I think part of the reason I think this is relevant is of course given the geopolitical conditions that are happening around here stories tend to get compartmentalized they tend to get slotted there are movement artists, there are yeah, the movement artists, there are people who do music, there are people who do theatre, there are people who read texts. Yes. But that's not how it works. Yes. At the end of the day, you have a series of universal human impulses. And you say, look, I don't care. Whatever medium works for it, I do it. Yes. And I think this is part of the job, yes. essentially. So, but this brings us to stories that are compartmentalized, that are, that are so-called serious stories that never make it through to the, past the performative edge. Stories like uh, real, those of real people who are not glamorous, not glamorous at all, they just do their jobs and sometimes they do their jobs under conditions that are onerous and sometimes they can make sacrifices. One of the things that really excites me about this whole festival idea happening at this particular time in European history is that we can also add into the mix, for example, this tribute to the four women journalists we've been talking about for the last year. Um, four women journalists, Veronika Garan, Natalia Estemerova, Anna Politskaya, the, the Russian, Daphne Caruana Galizia, the Maltese blogger, who all died doing their job, pursuing investigations, pursuing truth, representing what we very much consider European values. And the fact that we're able to bring their stories into a theatrical space and make things happen around it, I think is absolutely, it's just a colossal opportunity. And it's something which is very inspiring for me personally, you know, to be able to be involved in that. The European Theatre Labs are essentially a way of us saying, we have always been audacious, we've always been risky. Well, we're gonna do more of that. Yes. yes, get people together and say, I have no frigging clue what's gonna happen. I just trust the fact that these guys all wanna tell stories and they will draw in from each other. The value I think that I think therefore that comes out very clearly is stand for something. And if you stand for something, you parse it, you communicate in a way that moves the other person so the other person can imbibe your value. It's as simple as that. Essentially be a virus. Virus viruses do that very well actually. Be performative memes. Is the, is the basic value we're talking about, which is probably a great adventure not to begin on.